socialize more. Today, we are joined by Dizzy, D-D-S, and today, we have another Unsporn build, because I like them, and I think they're fun. We are rocking the Reza Kiri Axe, because it good. With Knockout King and Conditioning, we are using Reza Kiri's hat, because Conduit and Wild Frenzy. We're using Shroud's chest piece with Rage in it to give us plus six Rage. We're using the Pangar arms because Knockout King and the Boreas boots because Iceborne. With, of course, Drask's eye with the Conduit cell in it. Now, this gives us plus six Conduit, plus six Iceborne, which under 50% health grants 30% decreased damage taken while Iceborne is active, grant 8% lifesteal that cannot heal beyond 50%. If you're almost dead with a fully, like with, with an axe throw, you will heal up to 50%. It's redonkulous. Knockout King, because I like to knock things out. I'm a team player. Rage, because Iceborne, 50% health, 25% increased damage. You could swap this out and try to get overpower in there, because Knockout King, but I think the more consistent damage throughout the fight with Rage is a little better for at least me. Then we got Wild Frenzy, because Axe Charge attack speed is hilarious. Conditioning, because... It, it it has a, a wingy cell in it and what else am i going to put there and cunning because it's attached to the axe and for today we're going to fight my favorite fighting dummy frostback pengar i will see you guys down there littering and littering and Nani? Look at that. I really need to buy the axe drop in animation because it dope. Alright, so we're fighting Frostbag Pengar because it's one of my favorite fights and I think it shows off this build pretty well because we're trying to knock something out. And what's better to knock out than a big roly-poly hedgehog, am I right? We are bringing Healy Potions because one, you have to, and two, you should always bring Healy Potions. We're using attack better potions, attack faster potions, and we got some boop grenades. Now, he does need to get me to 50%, so we are going to let him hit me first things first. Then we're going to buff up a little bit. Or he can smack me. That also works. And then hit me once. Thank you. We're going to run away and hope that you roll at me again. You are... My axe, okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That's fine. I must uh must have hit a directional key. Oh ha ha, don't uh don't pay any attention to that, hee <laughs> hee. That's fine. Alright, so this isn't going well. But we do have an iceborne build, so Pretty much, the world is our oyster, you know? Hang on. Can you not? Please? Alright, so I'm hoping that he's gonna roll at us, so I can throw this thing at him. Or I could just roll away, and then... Come on. You love to roll. There we go. Got our axe. This is our time. Our time to shine. Look at that! Look at that charge speed! And we are going to try to hit him in the legs. There we go. We did knock him out. We're going to move on to his tail. Use our lantern. Look at that. Now, we did just throw that for the sole purpose of... Ooh! Ooh! Just buffing our damage up a little bit, getting to the next threshold of damage. We do have a boop grenade if he so needs one. We're not going to use one. There we go. Whoop, dip. Run away, run away, run away. I can never tell if that's the uh, throw shit at me attack or the not throw shit at me attack. Come on, boy. Let's dance. Now you want to roll. Eh. Did you see that? Hashtag calculated. All right, we're going to try to hit him in the face when he stands up. Or the leg. You know? Leg, face, what really is the difference when you think about it? 
Now, the nice thing about the axe is you move a lot. We're gonna move down to his tail. Look at that attack speed. That is just disgusting. There we go. We got a tail. Gotta pick up that tail plate. Gotta roll out of the way. He's gonna roll at us. Oh no, we didn't have a Q. Oh well, he stopped too early anyway. We are gonna use our super armor frames to sustain through that attack. He is gonna go unicy, allowing us to get him in the leg again. Or just go enraged and we roll away from his icicles of doom. You gonna roll? Come on. Thank you. I take our axe back. I walk over here, nice and calm. Now this will still freeze me. Even with my little buff activated. So that's something you do kind of have to worry about. Alright, so he's almost knocked out. So even if I just hit him in the face, that'll be enough. Thank you. Oh, I broke his face. Oops. Same, same difference. Look at that. Using our super armor frames to boop him even though we got hit. Which is fine because we have Iceborne and we can do what we want. Really though, we can just kind of do whatever we want. If I can hit him in the leg, that would be disgusting. Okay, we're getting our little icicles back. I dodge out of the way. He's almost knocked out again. Now we can either knock him out here or wait for him to roll. One or the other. Or he can uh, die. That is also an option. So, that was my Iceborne Resikiri Axe build. I spent a lot of time just trying to bait the roll because I think that's a fun part of the fight. But yeah, I think that's a pretty a pretty decent uh, decent outcome. We got X plus, S plus, X plus, as we should. Alrighty, a hero appeared. What happened to them? Are they gone? Did they die? You got something, something wrong with your face. You got little spikes coming out of it. Anywho, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. But let me know in the comments why. If you want to see more content like this or just more of me, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash sharkerct422. I stream over there fairly regularly. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.